What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we finished the Deepwood Shrine and got ourselves the Earth Element. In this episode, well, we're gonna make our way back to Hyrule Town, do a couple of things there, and then maybe we'll start our climb up Mount Krennel. So, let's get started. We've got a lot to take care of. First things first, let's dip inside this house and talk to this guy. What's going on, buddy? Green clothes and a mystical hat. Sir, would you by chance be Link, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I've heard so many tales about you. How? I just did it like 10 seconds ago. I'm Bellari, researcher of antiquities, and I'm also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. And he's gonna give us a bomb bag, so now we can hold up to 10 bombs and blow a lot of stuff up. Aw, yeah, baby. Thanks a lot, little fella. Alright, now, it's time to return to our normal size. And this should make traveling across Hyrule and getting to the mountain a lot easier. Now, here's the thing. Um, we only have 63 rupees, and I kind of need 80 to buy what I need to buy in Hyrule Town. So, yeah, I'll probably be chopping down like a bunch of grass and bushes. Anyways, while we're here, let's check out this stone slab. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Oh my gosh, it just blew up. Hmm, whoa, it blew up. Hey, kid, look at where the stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course, why this must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll see, like, a bunch of those stone things all over Hyrule. We really can't do anything with them right now, but, uh, I'll be sure to point them out, I guess, and sort of cause them to explode. Wow, we're getting a lot of bombs. Hopefully... That doesn't mean bad luck later on because, uh, yeah, we're gonna need bombs later on on the mountain. Also, I really kind of dislike this about this game. So because it's like an old school 2D Zelda game where there's limited buttons, you can actually equip the sword to either the A or the B button. And I do that all the time when I'm going through the menus. Like, I just press the wrong button to equip the item and it ends up going on a different button, which is very, very confusing. I mean... I know there's only two buttons you can really use on the Game Boy, so they kind of had to do that, but uh, it's always been something that's bugged me about the old school Zelda games because I do prefer having the sword on like a dedicated button or something like that. Same thing with the shield. Anyways, um, there's a little tiny Minish house over here. We can't do anything with the NPC inside right now, so I just wanted to blow up those rocks and sort of open up the pathway for later on. We'll come back when we can actually do something there, though. For now, let's get rid of all these enemies and bushes because I'm trying to find rupees. And now we can also bomb this cracked, like, side of the wall here. Because inside, well, guess what? We're going to find a chest that contains 20 mysterious shells. So, yay. It's something, I guess, right? You don't really have to get those right away. But, I mean, I figured it was along the way. So, why the heck not? Do be conservative with your bombs, though, because, like I said, you will need a certain amount to scale the mountain. Like, maybe five or so, I want to say. And can you give me, like, another blue rupee game? That would be great. Uh, I only need eight more rupees to get what I need to get. So, if I could get those soon, that'd be great. Although, uh, doesn't look like you're going to be nice. All right, let's place a bomb here, because that should blow up all of those stones. I mean, I don't really think there's a point for us to go over here because I think this just leads us back into the Minish Woods. But, um, yeah, I might as well make the shortcut. And hey, the carpenters are over here. What are you guys up to? Just sawn logs and all that jazz? Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Oh, you know what? I should actually wait for these guys to jump up in the air because, yeah, they tend to drop rupees when you kill them. So, that was worthwhile. I need four... More rupees. Come on, game. Seriously? Just four rupees. That's really all I need. And we're basically right in front of Hyrule Town. Alright, there's one rupee, so I only need three more. I know you're gonna be nice and give me those rupees, game, right? Totally? Please? We're right here. Alright, I'm not going in Hyrule Town until I have these three rupees. Like, I just want to buy one item. That's all I want. Please, game. Just give me three rupees. 
or one, you know, blue rupee. That would work too. Either or. Alright, there's a ton of bushes here. Got a seashell. I don't really need that, but uh anything? Really? Okay, we got another rupee. Two more. Please. In all those bushes, I only got one rupee. Are you kidding me? Alright, here's a bunch of grass. Come on, game. You're making me look like a fool right now. I don't appreciate it. Alright, there we go. Another one. We only need one more rupee. Please. Anywhere. Just one rupee. All I need. I apologize, guys. Uh, there's really nothing I can do, though. I actually do need this one rupee. And it's just nowhere to be found. Come on, man. Seriously, this is like the worst like stroke of luck ever there we go finally we got the 80th rupee and uh oh hey there's another stone slab here all right i'm glad i actually came this way then so let's check it out holder of the sacred powers we grant you the power of wind and yeah it just exploded again hey that stone marker crumbled then there's another one of those symbols you know no matter how many times i see that happen it still rattles me I'm sure you'll get over it as though. Alright, so, you know what? We got all the rupees we need. Let's stop wasting time. Let's go to Hyrule Town and uh, do what we need to do. Because there's at least three things that we need to do here. And one of them, well, actually, two of them are required. One of them is going to happen automatically, and that is this thing. Come one, come all. See how many kinstone pieces you can collect. Oh no, we're trapped. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone pieces! Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity! Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right! Maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now! And yay, we got a kinstone bag! We can now carry kinstone pieces, which are another type of collectible in this game. Also, we got it from a stranger. I don't really trust this guy. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Use D-pad to choose the kinstone piece and press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all that? I certainly did. Then stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse kinstones! Alright, let's do it then. Yes, yes, that's it. Press L, then you can see the kinstone screen. Well, we only have one kinstone piece, so I guess we'll choose this one and... Fusion go! The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly! Maybe something good will happen. And aw snap, check it out! The tree that we passed earlier looking for rupees! There's no longer vines blocking the way inside. It's right next to Link's house, too. Well, we should definitely check that out. A perfect fit! That means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya! Alright. See you later, man. I don't know how I feel about that old guy, like, leading a group of kids around and trying to sell kinstone bags to people. Also, he looked at me with, like, hearts in his eyes. That's kind of creepy. But, uh, yeah, it's obviously because the secret that he unlocked with his Kinstone Fusion was a piece of heart. So anytime you see someone looking at you with a heart, chances are you can, like, fuse Kinstones with them and get yourself a piece of heart. It's pretty cool stuff. And I know a lot of people don't really like the Kinstone mechanic in this game, and I can kind of understand why, because there is, like, an element of randomness to it, which can be kind of annoying. Anyways, though... We're here back in Hyrule Town. Here's a shop with a rupee above it. So obviously this is our general store. And, um, well, I'm going to spend my 80 rupees on this item right here. So let's check out. Only 80 rupees for a wallet. It can hold a king's ransom in rupees. Yeah, that's right, guys. We're going to buy this. We're going to spend our entire life savings on something to hold more rupees. 200 IQ Gamer. That's me right now. All right. So now that we've got that, um... We're good to go. I did say rupees were important, and believe it or not, our previous wallet could only hold up to like 99 rupees, so that was a worthwhile upgrade. Next up, let's head inside this weird looking house and uh, talk to this guy. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. <laughs> Swiftblade, did your mom give you that name or did you make it up yourself? If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? 
<laughs> sure, dude, why not? We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? I think I got it. Haha, very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. Whoa, wait, what? I call this Swift Blade's possession technique of training. Watch this. Ugh! Possession? Oh god, I can't feel my legs! Phew, now you must try yourself. Press and hold your sword button, build up enough power, then release your destructive might. That's all there is to it. Uh, alright, well, let's give it a shot then. Ta-da, we did it. Yes, fine work, you're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with the scroll. You may view it any time from the quest status screen. So there we go, we can now use the spin attack. Alright, thanks Swiftblade. Have fun with your anime waifu pillows. Alright, let's get out of here. That guy was creeping me out. Um, actually no, there is one more thing that I want to do here in Hyrule Town. And that is, uh, real quick, let's grab our Gust Jar. And, um... I just want to pretty much blow away all of this dust and debris from that weird mat. That way we can clear that out and I think something will happen there later on. I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I last played this game, guys. Like, yeah, Minish Cap, not a game I'm very familiar with. Anyways, yeah, this guard is blocking our path, so let's talk to him real quick. Ho ho! So you've learned the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Uh, alright then. Oh, hang on. Need to walk away a little bit. Too close to him. Didn't mean to talk to you again, buddy, but, uh... What do you think of that? Yeah, that's the one! But there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. I'll be fine. But yeah, the spin attack is required to enter this section of Hyrule. And our first new enemy! He looked kind of scary, but, uh, yeah, super easy. Now, uh, guess what, guys? I actually need to get more rupees, because I need to buy something, otherwise we won't be able to progress. Thankfully, no, I don't need to grind for these rupees. The game is nice enough to just give them to me, so, yeah, we can just climb this vine, and bam, red rupee. That's the 20 rupees that we need, so we're good to go. Don't worry, guys. Oh, man, I couldn't take, like, another grinding session either. One is more than enough for this video. Anyways, now that we got those rupees, let's head down here, and, um, we can bomb this right wall of the cave, and inside we're actually gonna find a Deku business scrub, and he's gonna sell us something that we actually need in order to make our way up the mountain. So real quick, let's grab our shield, and, uh, just get ready to block this guy's nuts. Come on, man. There we go. Now sell me your wares. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. I'll take it. Sounds good to me. So there we go. We got our first empty bottle. Not bad. Also, I have no idea what he just said because I accidentally skipped over that entire dialogue box. My bad. I'm sure it wasn't anything too important though. Probably like, thanks for your business. Come again or some crap like that. All right, now that we got the bottle, here's what we actually needed it for. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, you can actually bomb that cracked wall and find a Deku Scrub in there, and he'll tell you about the other Deku Scrub that will sell you the bottle. But uh, here's what you need the bottle for. You need to scoop up some water, and um, now that we have some water, we can obviously use this to water the plants here on the mountain's base, and um, they'll grow into like larger vines, allowing us to actually climb up the mountain itself. Obviously, like, it does have other uses, but, uh, right now we're pretty much going to exclusively save our bottle for making progress on this mountain. Let's get rid of these tektites, too, because, ooh, more rupees. I will take that. Thank you very much. Also, um, I think behind this cracked wall is a fairy fountain, I want to say. So, let's see if I'm right. Haha, check it out. So, I mean, we could actually capture one of these fairies in a bottle if we wanted to. But I don't want it because, like I said, 
we actually need the bottle for other things on the mountain, so it would kind of be a waste. At least we did get 15 rupees, though. That's pretty helpful. Um, I think there is a business scrub on the mountain that will sell you extra bombs should you need them. And right here, even though there is no crack, yeah, between those two posts, if you lay a bomb, you can find, like, a hidden passageway if you want. Oh, no! I just wasted, like, two bombs! Dude, that's so bad! Ah, oh, crap. Um... I may have just, like, screwed myself entirely. Um, yeah, I really need to get, like, a bomb drop now, randomly. Otherwise, we might be in a lot of trouble. Also, I probably shouldn't have shrunken down just now. I don't think I can use my bombs in my Minish form, so shut up, Ezlo. Yes, I know, it's a rock, it's a portal, whatever, we get it. Um, can I lay a bomb? I can't. Okay, well... You know, I tried. Let's just do this again. We'll lay a bomb in our human form, and then we'll go back to our Minish form. Not a big deal. At least, like, I think we can skip the cutscene now. Are you kidding me? The bomb disappears! Bro! Oh my gosh, I only have one bomb left now. Alright. Cool. Good job, Matt. Excellent work. You're doing great. Ah. <sighs> All right, well, now I definitely need a bomb drop, or I need to go and buy bombs from that Deku Scrub, although I'm not even sure if I can because he sells them for 30 rupees and I only have 22, so that's not going to work at all. Also, by the way, someone actually mentioned this in one of the previous videos, but, like, the reason why some of the enemies look so strange and different and are exclusive to this game is because the enemies that I was talking about are bugs. Like, it didn't occur to me that because we've shrunken down to such a small size, we're fighting bugs and not like typical enemies. That never occurred to me and it makes so much more sense now. I feel like an idiot, but uh, yeah, so like those are little tiny ladybugs or whatever that we're fighting and not actual Zelda monsters. All right, now that we got some of the special like hot spring water or whatever the heck that was called, we're good to go, except we're not really good to go because I have no bombs. So that's kind of a problem. And of course, that thing sometimes can drop bombs, but of course it wouldn't, so... Yeah, I'm sort of on a quest to find some bombs now, guys. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky and something will pop out from underneath these weird... dust clouds, whatever they are. They actually hurt you, so I have no idea what they're supposed to be. But, uh, yeah, I didn't think we were gonna find anything there. Ah, shoot, I can't even buy the bombs I need from the Deku Scrub. Um... I mean, I guess I can go, like, in the cave and maybe I'll get a bomb drop from underneath these, uh, bushes, but I doubt it. At least I got a couple rupees. Um, hey, look at that. We found two kinstone pieces. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? No? Okay. Oh, crud. This is not good, guys. You know what? Um, I may have to end off the episode here just because I don't know what I can really do to find bombs right now. Like, I can figure that out off screen. So, I think that's where I'm going to end off this video. If you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one when I find some bombs.